Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when working on images, you want to be able to preserve the monochrome elements on it while working on the colour. Um, this is not about luminosity, which is light and dark, which you can do by other means, but literally those which are black and, and white. So a way of doing that is to um, well just, just look at this first. I'll show you this for an example. So here, a color balance If here. For example, if I wanted to say, go to the highlights and sort of add some blue into that. So, you know, blue up the sky a bit, um, make, maybe make the picture a bit cooler. Um, but what you can see starting to happen is in the, the up here in the sky, there is there is blue appearing in the clouds and even down here on the on the sand and so on. So what can we do about kind of pulling out the more monochrome areas? So let's use a calibration chart here to do that. So what effectively I want to do is to separate out the whites, the blacks and all the greys from the colours. So these bars here, even down here when they're going to grey or black or white, there's still colour in there. So I want to be able to separate those out. The way to do that is hit Control J just so you can separate them out and then go Filters and Apply Image and then use Current Layers Source and Equations. And what we're going to do is, is subtract the minimum from the maximum color because if the biggest color and the smallest color are both the same then it must be white or black or gray so it's max of red green and blue minus min of that you can see that's already having an effect so let's control c to copy this and just paste that into the other two so we just get down to black and white and there, what we've done is, you can see, we have already effectively turned out the, the monochrome here. And the colours here, we've still got the fade here. We'd like this all to go to right up to white. Uh, and that's because, in terms of the actual value being held here in this red, green and blue, is up here it's 1 and down here it's 0, and in between it's a fraction. So we'd like to round it all up. So anything which is a fraction, push it all up to 1. And I can do that with the roundup. So I go here, round up, open brackets, close brackets. There we go. And if I just copy that then to the green and the blue, so you can see that gradient that we've bashed out. And we've got this white here and, and black here. So we've got a se total separation now between those with colour in them and those without colour in them, which are monochrome. Uh, and if I want to use the mask, I would want the um, to select the monochrome, I want to invert this. So I can just put one minus in each of these. So there we go. Something else that I can do here is if I want to say those clouds are probably not perfectly um, white, but they're near white. So can I get select something that's near white or near black? The simple way to do this is to subtract a little bit here. So I go back one bracket here and say minus, if I say 0.1, look at what's happening. See, it's taken off a slice here. And if I replace, replace, replace that with the other two, then it'll slice the other off as well. But if I say then go to minus 0.2, there's 20%, 0 0.3, there's 30%. So it, it's basically going to include that in the selected area. So I can say, let's just say 0.15, say, and that's 15%. And then I can select this and put there like that. And there you go. I've now selected all that. Um, but so in the whites, the selected area includes a bit where the colors just off white, uh, including the darks, the grays and the lights. And uh, one more thing that we can do with this is if I open square brackets, open bracket at the beginning, close the brackets at the end to contain that together and times that by SR, so the, which is the red. And 
and copy that into the next one and make that green and into the next one and make that blue and what I've got now if you see down here I've got this selected here so I've got these selected but these I'm getting the actual colors in here but I'd like to get rid of the, those areas there with the, with the color in which I've taken out so if I just take this bit here without the multiply by the color and put it into the alpha which is the transparency then effectively I'm letting it through so this I'm seeing the color below if I take that one off as you can see this is now I'm going through to the checkerboard transparency so I'm seeing all the way through so in other words I have captured and here see the where it is just going black and just off white and just off gray and so on those included in the selected areas so there we go there's a number of methods that can be used with this we can use this to create masks and layers I'm going to do that in another video but just for now we'll quickly do one thing in here so go to filters apply image and use current layer in a cross and and I'll do that times SR for example so I'm going to just select this and to select the 15% control C here control V there and control B there and what we've seen there and if I now just put in the transparency now I have selected these areas here and you can see this is purely by whiteness and grayness and so on how much monochrome it is so it's 15 percent into the colors and if i want to select more of that i could say change that to 0.2 20 percent so i can use this in the apply image to try and kind of play around with what i want to select and see i've got more cloud now selected so any go there we go so I'm just going to take off that there don't need that on there that's it otherwise you start going transparent so there's a lot more of it being selected now so there we go there is how to select for monochrome only and then also monochrome and with a little bit of leeway in it so it's white-ish or grey-ish anyway thank you very much for watching